Today on the channel, we head back to the Masterverse with Princess of Power, Katra, and my old buddy, Zodak. The spirit of the Welcome everyone, Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel for another He-Man of the Masters Universe Masterverse unboxing and review. And today on the channel from Princess of Power, we've got Katra and we've got Zodak. But remember, for all your He-Man of the Masters Universe needs and everything else under the sun, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE to save yourself 10% on all in-stock merchandise. And of course, anything over $39 does ship free. Got to get a deal, as we always say. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there and of course we're going to start ladies first with Katra let's start her off of course of the princess of power line uh, I've got to be honest not a big princess of power fan as a kid didn't really watch a whole lot of She-Ra always thought Hordak was very very cool though I, there's something about Hordak very very cool but She-Ra you know is just a little bit more too girly for me not in my uh, little kid interests uh, we'll say but all in on Katra here. You got to have some evil villains for She-Ra to take on. Of course, she's a kind of the side-by-side -side, uh, girl uh, fighter with Hordak, whatever you want to call her, first lieutenant or something like that. But let's take a look at Katra in the package. Not sure how well this one will sell. It'll be interesting. Uh, Andra doesn't sell really set the world on fire. I don't know if Katra will either, but we'll see what happens. You never know. Katra down here, Princess of Power, uh, Masterverse logo with all the hieroglyphics, of course. Big, big window box. 40th anniversary she is a jealous beauty because it says it right there so she's very jealous very jealous of she-ra and all her good looks there's Katra on the side right there looking good and on the back got that big blurb got the cross cell we're unboxing all these on the channel so make sure you do subscribe to the channel beautiful artwork absolutely love the back packaging here you got the blurb the glamour shot the cross cell what more could you want that's perfect Katra the jealous beauty the cruel, calculating force captain of the evil horde holds her hatred for She-Ra close to her heart. Using her trademark magic cat mask, Catra is a dangerous nemesis for the Princess of Power. She can shapeshift into a powerful panther, blast freeze fire, beams to encase her enemies in ice, or even teleport. Her greatest power, however, is her cat-like cunning. Cross her if you dare. She looks very... Uh, very cool on the back of this packaging. It looks really, really good. Uh, very cool. A lot of good powers for old Catra. She's going to be a tough one to fight with. On the back, there it is. You got that stone background we're used to. Absolutely love that. See you later. Goodbye. And I'm sure she's locked in all over the place, including the cape. What are we doing? I hate it when they lock the cape in. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, but there it is. She's in the plastic prison looking pretty good. All kinds of good stuff with her. Got two extra hands. We'll pop those out. Hands are always the hardest to get out. They're just in there just about perfectly. Uh-oh, we got one up top. I missed a cut. Missed a cut up top. Get all these out of here. A lot of twist ties with these. Slide that wand there. Staff. There it is. We're off to the races. We're almost there. Ugh. And there it is. Up high. See you later. Oh, no, Zodak. Zodak, he took a fall, but I got him. Oh, no. All right, let's get down to business. Monkey business, some might say, but we got two hands here. She does come with two open hands, kind of cat clawing hands, which do make sense. Would have liked to seen a fist, but we do get two gripping hands. Jeez, throwing stuff around today. We do get two gripping hands, though, that look good. I like that she's got a little nail polish on there. She still is a beauty, of course. A jealous one, but a beauty nonetheless. She does have her hands painted really nice. Looks like a little purplish color. How about that? Uh, but two very small female hands. We do get her nice... Uh, Oh boy, her nice shield here. I wish we had a little color. This is a very cool looking shield with a little extra color would really bring out some stuff on this when you get that nice jewel right there. Uh, but it is a female shield, of course, but boy, it does look nice. And like I said, a little color will go a long way on this one. Then you got her little staff. You got kind of the, you know, you shoot the power, all that kind of stuff out of the end. Nice green against the silver, all silver throughout. Nice sculpting around the bottom here. But looks really good. I got no issues with this. So a nice little weapon there. Now we get down to the figure here. What do we got with old Katra? Uh, let's see her articulation first. Her arms go all the way around like we're accustomed to. You do get a bicep cut. Double jointed pinless elbows here. You do get hands that are removable back and forth. Get her in some nice cat poses if you need to. 
course the head does turn all the way around a little bit limited by that big ponytail but it does move out of the way as you can see right there fairly well as well a lot of wells going on here you do get the hula hoop that we're used to no waist on this one she can't do those big old cat splits thigh cut double jointed pinless knees got the boot cut going on and then the ankles back and forth side to side uh, a lot good there she does have her mask here and the mask i was gonna say is it removable or what what is the story here but the mask does come down you can't put it right over her face uh choose your own adventure with the mask or it will slide up i really like that so it slides up like this or you can slide it right down very cool i got no issues with that at all uh, a lot of reuse from she-ra on this one it does make sense kind of the same universe things like that uh, I can see that going on. She's got nice red, got the horde insignia there on her, uh, I guess her abdomen, we'll call it. Got a nice short skirt going on. Very cool. You got this purple cape that really does flow. Uh, it is a nice uh, soft goods cape. It's not hard plastic, which I do appreciate. But the purple really brings out the red, a little color difference. I really do like that. She's got a little design there on her boots. Looks pretty good. Actually, better in hand than expected. I guess I expected it to be like the traditional female Masterverse figures, but I like the coloring on this one. I like the uh, head, how you can move the mask down, you can move it up, you can choose your own adventure, as we always say. Not so bad. I might almost leave these cat hands on her, kind of have her in like a scratching pose or something like that. So that's easily done. Does she fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle, save 10%, as I always say. And there it is. Look at that. Ringside collectibles. Uh, they fit once again. Got to get the Mattel stand. This is a Mattel product after all. But it looks really, really good there. And of course, we do get the Masters of the Universe Classics one. I love on the shield here, you got the purple or purple. How about pink? Pink jewel going on. That does add a lot to this figure. Uh, but there she is uh, for her Classics version, of course. And then you got to have Hordak. That's her partner in crime, Hordak. I guess I could have got Shira. Maybe I'll get her for some glamour shots. But Hordak, that's kind of the team right there looking good. Uh, this Hordak, of course, from the Masterverse line. Uh, pick this one up. Strongly recommend the old Hordak there. But not too shabby old Catra. Uh, better than expected. I just don't think it's going to light the world on fire at retail. Maybe that's just me. But you need characters like this. You need uh, to make the universe grow, get bigger. You just can't go to the same well all the time. So I appreciate things like this. We know we got, what, Frostra coming? Isn't she coming next? We'll see how deep this Princess of Power Masterverse figures goes in 2023. But now we turn our attention to Zodak. Don't call him Zodiac for whatever reason. Uh, maybe it's just one of those things in my head. And I'm sure there's got to be at least one of you guys out there that agrees with me. That when I was a little kid, I always called him Zodiac. Maybe I thought he was a killer or something. I'm not exactly sure. But it is officially Zodak. But I always remembered it as Zodiac. Just one of those things, I guess. But Zodak is here. A very, very cool one. A little bit of a tweener, of course, in the universe. We'll compare him in a little bit as well. But a childhood favorite of mine. I absolutely loved his figure when I was a kid. Masterverse logo, of course, 30 points of RTK. Articulation. Got all that kind of going on. We got the uh, new Turnia, Masters Universe, Zodak, Mattel, all the usual stuff down there. He is the cosmic enforcer, like a young Arn Anderson uh, in space is kind of how we uh, think of him. But he is the cosmic enforcer. Very cool picture there, kind of that big background one. And then a nice glamour shot. Very, very cool artwork. Love that a whole lot. On the back, got the big old blur. We got the cross cell. You guys know, like I said, we're going to unbox all these guys on the channel. Very, very cool artwork. Always love the artwork on the He-Man stuff. Let's see what it says about Zodak. Few are more powerful than the omnipotent master of the cosmos, Zodak. As the keeper of the neutral balance between good and evil, the cosmic enforcer's universal travels return him to Eternia, home of Castle Grayskull, the nexus of realities and the center of the multiverse. For a threat to the cosmic balance can come from anywhere at any time. And we see it looks like Skeletor and Battle Armor He-Man fighting in the background there and he's kind of just watching the whole thing go down very very cool like the looks of this one a lot a bit of a deep cut but not a super deep cut i always kind of felt uh, after like uh, the usual uh core of villains of Skeletor, the Beastman, Mermans, things like that. And then you got the Mana Arms, Tila, Stratos. Uh, I always felt he was kind of the next level after that, at least in my childhood brain. See you later. Goodbye. Let's get old Zodak, the old plastic prison. And once again, he's locked in all over the place as well. So we'll snip him out. Very cool look there. We got extra hands with him. You got his patented gun. Always loved this gun when I was a little kid. Happy to have it here. And I love the extra color details on it. Uh, then we had when we were a kid, if we collect the original Masters Universe line way back in the day. I think we got him here. Is he ready to be pulled out? Is he ready to be freed from his old plastic prison? We're going to free those two fists. He comes with two mighty fists. Love to see that. Uh-oh. Staff breaking apart. I guess it breaks apart here. 
And we're throwing stuff around already. There it is. Off to the races. See you later. Twist ties over here, and we're off to the races. Let's check out what we got from him. Happy to report we got two Fists of Fury. He's ready to throw some Cosmic Fist if he needs to. Absolutely love that idea. So we get two Fists with him. Here for Fist all day long and twice on Sunday. We do got this staff, and the staff does come apart, so I was not aware of that. That is interesting. It doesn't really go back to get... Well, you got to really twist it and get it there, but it can go back. It's got his nice staff, got the nice gray and the red... Does match his coloring here. Very, uh, you know, standing on the mountaintop, looking over, seeing what's going on out there, staying in the loop. But you can break it apart like a bow staff or something like a ninja, and you can have two different uh, Fist of Fury with these bad boys here. But very cool uh, weapon. Got no problems with this one. But his most iconic weapon to me was always this, like, space laser. Very, very space age going on. You got the red and the silver here. Uh, but this just screams Zodak, childhood Zodak all day long to me. Absolutely love this. We do get his iconic weapon. Now we get the figure here. Very cool figure. Like I said, I always enjoyed this figure. I don't know what it was about him. Uh, he looks so similar, but so different from everybody else. But really, really cool. Of course, the articulation is going to be the same as Catra, so we won't run through that. But he does got his nice chest plate going on. Got the nice shoulder guards here. How about that? That's an interesting one. So these shoulder guards just plug into the backpack there, and then they can turn or can be removed. So you can move those out of the way. Very interesting. I'm not. Uh, we definitely have not seen that in this line before. So it is. It is an interesting way to get those on there, and it helps them move freely, I guess, out of the way and things like that. So very, very interesting technology. Toy technology. Look at that. Uh, but it does look good. And then you got his. Uh, it does snap together here on the side. You do get a little holster on the side here, so you can put his little laser there. So I like to be able to store my stuff. All of this stuff is removable as we're used to. Uh, the head does pop off as well if you need to take his head off. Very cool, almost robotic uh, space helmet head. I don't even know what you call that, but once again, you got the gray and the reds going throughout here. Always do love that. He's got those merman kind of arms, the kind of the fins on the forearms. Uh, goes down to the feet where he's got the three toed feet. Always looked interesting as well there. He does got Eternia's patented loincloth. Got some reuse from that. Reuse out of the belt. I uh, got the front flap thing going down. I think Triclops had that, didn't he? Maybe I'm dreaming on that one. But uh, very good. He's got very fur-like. It almost looks like he's a part monster, part human a little bit with these feet with the three-pronged toes and the fur here. Very interesting look to him. Uh, I definitely do like the look, though. I definitely like this character. I'm glad we got him so early in the line, and it still does feel early in the line. And one thing I really do enjoy about the Masterverse line, too, is they only give us four figures in a set. Instead of being six or seven or eight, some of these bigger sets there, we get a, a more manageable four. So it doesn't really feel like we're breaking the bank every time a new wave comes out. Where sometimes with Marvel Legends, like, oh my gosh, six figures, that's a lot to buy at once. Four seems a little bit manageable, and maybe with uh, inflation, everything that's going on in the world, maybe the Marvel Legends of the world might do better if they did four in a wave going forward instead of, you know, six or seven with uh, everybody's in their tight finances and all that fun stuff. Uh, does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Of course, I always say I use discount code Kyle, save yourself 10%. He does fit on that stand. So an interesting one. One I really do like. I like some new technology here. Love the colors. Love the throwback to the olden times of the 80s, of course. Just a really, really good looking Zodiac. Don't call him Zodiac. Really like this one. Now, I did grab the Classics version. I believe this is the DC 2-pack Classics. Uh, I grabbed this one because it's a little bit different. Obviously similar, but different. But I always like Zodak with gloves. I always thought that looked better when he had gloves on, like in this example from the Classics line. Uh, but either way, he does look really, really cool. But I would prefer gloves. It would be something if I was uh, really good, I could easily paint gloves on him. But I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. But there he is, a little yin and yang uh, right there between the two. So you can see the Classics version. We also got him in Origins fair, fairly recently. So I do like that as well. The more Zodak figures, the better, I guess. Uh, I'm here for it all day long. But there it is. There's Zodak. There's Catra. Two interesting Masterverse ones. Uh, for me, of course, this is going to be my favorite. I just got a lot of nostalgia for him. Not so much for her, but this figure is better than I anticipated it to be, so that's always a good thing at the end of the day. But what say you guys out there on YouTube, Lamb? You picking these up? You passing? Playing the long game? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. You might as well like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. You guys know we got videos every single day, including all the Masterverse figures, so you don't want to miss one of those. Uh, follow along on Patreon for all kinds of bonus exclusive stuff. And best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel over at Pro Wrestling TV. 
SurPaulSixTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And then don't forget about Twitter. Uh, SurPaul64 is where you'll find me over there. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Catra and Zodak, I'm Kyle. And I'll see you guys all real soon.